Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. To replace the sump seal in your dishwasher, first turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Slide out the upper dish rack. Note where the dish rack is positioned on the rails, then lift up the rack to remove it. Now slide out the lower dish rack. Next, detach the water supply tube assembly from the mounting brackets on the top and rear of the tub. Now rotate the water supply tube to release it from the pump assembly. Pull the wash arm up to detach. You will now need to fully uninstall the appliance. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws, securing the lower access panel, and remove the panel. Use a 5 8 inch wrench to help unthread the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, unthread the screw securing the junction box cover, then pull the cover off. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. You can lower the rear leveling leg by using a 964 inch hex head screwdriver to rotate the adjustment rod at the front clockwise. Now, very carefully, pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its rear panel. Next, remove the mounting screws, securing the main control board cover. Remove the cover. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help pry out the control board housing and move it out of the way. Now remove the screws, securing the inner access panel. Release the mounting tabs. Detach the door wire conduit and lift out the panel. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the bottom access panel. Pull the panel forward Disconnect the leak sensor wire connector and set the panel aside. Disconnect the wires from the capacitor. Now disconnect the heater wires. 
Remove the screw to release the grounding wire from the heater bracket. Next, disconnect the turbidity sensor wire connector and the drain pump wires. Disconnect the thermistor wire connector as well as the main wash motor wire connector. Remove the screw to release the grounding wire from the motor. Release the spring clamp securing the drain pump hose to the pump assembly and pull the hose off. Release the spring clamp securing the water sensor hose to the assembly and pull the hose free. Now remove the screws from the retaining clips holding the pump and motor assembly in place. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the locking tabs to detach all three retaining clips. With the clips removed, carefully push the assembly free of the tub. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Open the dishwasher door and remove the assembly. Pull the old sump seal off. Install the new sump seal by aligning it on the pump and motor assembly. Now realign the assembly in the dishwasher and push it into place, making sure the indicator arrow faces forward. Carefully tip the appliance back so it rests on its rear panel. Snap the three retaining clips into place. Rethread the screws to secure the clips. Reattach the water sensor hose to the pump assembly and secure it with the spring clamp. Reattach the drain pump hose to the pump and secure the spring clamp. Secure the grounding wire to the motor. Reattach the wires to the terminals on the capacitor. Reconnect the motor wire connector. Reconnect the thermistor wire connector. Reattach the drain pump wires. And reconnect the turbidity sensor wire connector. Secure the grounding wire to the heater bracket with the screw. Reattach the heater wires to the terminals. Reconnect the leak sensor wire connector. Reposition the bottom access panel on the base and snap the retaining tabs into place. Rethread the screws to secure.
Realign the inner access panel. Snap the wire conduit into place on the panel. And hook the mounting tabs on the hinge supports. Replace the screws to secure the panel. Realign the main control board housing tabs with the slots in the base and push the assembly into position. Realign the cover and replace the screws to secure. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Make sure the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall and that the water and power supply lines are positioned in their respective channels in the dishwasher base. Now gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Join the wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. Align the cover and replace the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace the lower access panel and secure it with the screws. Replace the lower wash arm. Reinsert the bottom of the water supply tube into the pump assembly, then rotate to secure. Snap the tube into the mounting brackets on the rear and top of the tub. Replace the lower dish rack. Correctly reposition the upper rack on the rails and slide it into place. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use. <laughs>